Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Get up, get up, and then they got go on. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch. Get up. Get up! Good hey morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show again. Hope everyone's having a good morning. Everyone's got their coffee. We've all got our coffee. We have. I have my Yeti cup. You have your Yeti cup. Yeah, dual Yeti cups. I believe yours called is is called the Rebel. Ooh, it's think? got lipstick on it. Ooh, that's sexy. It's the same one. It's very similar in design to uh, Dermy Wormy's. He has a red one. With red lipstick on it, because he wears it. Covered in, that's why it's red. It's covered in red lipstick. He he chokes on it. Ew, that's true. Well, I wanted to think, producer Tuna just uh, informed me she's going to pop up real quick. There oh, she is. Welcome, producer Tuna. Thank you, producer Tuna. She's doing all the hard work behind the scenes here on the show today. And she wanted to thank you everybody for being here. Now, thank you, producer Tuna. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna go over here and say hi to everybody in chat, real quick. Hello, chat. First person in the chat was your mom. Hey, mom. Hello, Deborah. Well, what oh if no, mom? she's a pumpkin spice lady. Oh lord. You told me about it the other day. You're like, I hope you're not a pumpkin spice latte girl. I'm like, actually, that's not. I don't hate pumpkin pumpkin spice latte. I kind of like it. We were at the grocery pump- store. You're, you know. There was a funny little like cartoon I seen someone make where it's like a it's like a woman pulls up to like Starbucks. She's like, uh, do you have the pumpkin spice latte out today? And it's just her like keep going around the <laughs> drive through and she just keeps wacky or she's like sucking them down like. <laughs> Gets you jazzed Don't up. Don't clip here. that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your mom's a beautiful lady, by the way. Wow, um, Vermont oh, Chad. Right off the bat, also a Vermont Vermont Cheddar, who I was having a lovely conversation with over in another live streamer called Finacha's live stream chat a little bit ago. He has been kind enough to send us a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Vermont Cheddar. Yes, thank you very much, Vermont Cheddar. That goes a long way here. It goes a long way. He said, mm-hmm, and he says, thank you for the daily streams. Love y'all. We love you as well. We love everybody. So we're going to try to keep this up. We'll see what happens. It's right? fantastic. Fantastic! That is us making fun, not making fun of it, imitating our favorite streamer, Tuki. Yes, if you guys aren't watching Tuki streams, what are you even doing? T-O-O-K-I-E. He is a Muppet, and he's hilarious, dude. We crack up watching that guy. Who else do we have? Thank you, Vermont, for being here. We have Patrick T. from hey, Colorado. Hey, Patrick T. Our Colorado correspondent. Hi, Patrick T. Hey, we yeah, we talked to him, right? He came up on a stream one time. He did, did he? come up. Mm-hmm. Okay. He did. He did come up on stream. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we have Metro on the move. Hi there. Good morning, like Metro one, on the move. I feel like that's one of your guys because he has like a Yeah, hiking. I believe so. Yeah, like a hiking. Emily. Yeah, I believe so. He's in I don't have my chat up directly, but maybe I'll bring that up. You do have three people in your chat. Hello to everybody in MK okay. Ultra's chat as well. It's Sheila Aliens chat. And also hello to everybody on pilled.net. We'll be checking in with you guys in a little bit. I would like Somebody, please, to tell me how I can turn on the animated GIFs for the chat there over on Pilled. When we check in, we'll see if anybody responded in the chat to let me know. Yeah, again, this uh, is a simulcast. So there's two separate chats going on. So Simulcast, yeah. It's the three You might places. not see all the comments in the same in the same. Yeah, chat. you guys won't. Yeah, that's but when we are referring to one, we'll try to click it and make sure it's on the screen. I feel like that's a good thing. We gotta keep the hike. We have to slowly assimilate the hikers in with the whatever whatever your crowd is yeah whatever i don't know the alien comics gators yeah for sure and i see uh yeah that hiking guy what's up what's up what's up he's always been a a big supporter of uh my channel good to see you there man very good how dear six four eight zero hello there hello cool and then we are currently caught up on chat and producer tuna has put together a fine show for us this morning we got a big show this morning. I was shy. I woke up and uh, and Sheila just was like, "I got, I got a hundred things to go over." You should have seen what Tuna sent us this morning. It was insane. Mm-hmm. Yep. Starting off with the first story, we're just gonna get out of the way because politics are boring. But this is important, and you know, shame on the the people that are doing this to a beautiful man. But 
Trump's turning himself in today in Georgia. He's surrendering himself out of jail, and he's going to get right out. He might get a cool mug shot hey, out of it. Yeah, it wasn't like a, didn't you say it was like a $20,000 bond or something like that to get him out? So, yeah, well, it's 200000 but honestly, he could just pay that to the whole thing. He might not even use a bail bondsman. If you use a bail bondsman, you'll have to pay 10%. So it would be about 20K. But what's 200K yeah. to him anyway? This, he'd probably just be like, I'll just pay that. And but Trump's well, a smart guy. He sees the PR in this, he sees the marketing in this. That mugshot is going to blow right up in. The other side. It's going to be epic. It's going to be the yeah. most viral image of the year. It's going to be his campaign. Im- you know what I mean? It's yeah. We already talked about this, but it's like this is not doing anything for Trump supporters. This isn't getting anyone off his side here. If anything, it's hyping this, us up. Yeah, it's hyping <laughs> us up. And if anything, I think the left are starting to see like the ones who are not fully on the farthest end of the spectrum of leftness are going to be like, this is political persecution at this point. Like, Yeah, because really I mean, my own mom is a lefty, but she's not insane. So there are sane ones out there. Her and her wife are both lefty, of course, as you would suspect. But yeah, so he's turning himself in today at a Georgia jail, you know, and then who knows what state he'll have to turn himself into next when another asshole does this to him just to keep him from campaigning. I saw a Joe Biden campaign ad yesterday before a video on youtube and i haven't seen any trump ads i would love to see that but i don't think they would even show that i can't believe there was a biden campaign and i'm surprised that they're even I saw gonna... it. does that mean they're gonna run him then oh uh, yeah i saw it i swear to wow. god i saw it i'll try to record it next time i seen it um and you know what they the whole ad was about so when you see these these cranes putting together buildings and building stuff that's because of <laughs> biden Okay. And they said they said it's because of Biden. Biden's building back better and all that shit. Vote Biden is what it said. Um, so they are running Biden as the president. I don't care what anyone else. I mean, according to the advocate. yeah, well, the, the rumor was are they going to switch him out with Newsom, which I think is a terrible idea. I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, what idea is good? Don't know why I saw a 2024 campaign ad for Biden then, but you know, you know, yeah, it must be um, they must be going to run. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to go with. Um, keep it simple. So when will Trump surrender? surrender? Trump confirmed on Truth Social, which is his platform. He intends to go to Georgia on Thursday to surrender himself with the Guardian reporting. He may surrender in the evening so that it can air during prime time. Oh, cool. (laughs) He and the other co-defendants in the case are required to surrender to authorities by noon on Friday, August 25th, which is tomorrow. So he's going to go ahead and be early because he's, you know, on top of shit. Um, That's in the Fulton County Jail on Rice Street in wherever georgia you know it doesn't really say there but <laughs> yeah yeah and for much cheddar brings up a good point he's willing to do the time makes it more relatable yeah for you know for the left always with their defund the police and uh, oh the persecution of, of of people by the police uh how is this it just seems kind of odd it seems like oh they're using they're pro the cops police. yeah, yeah pro guess... cops all of a sudden when it's trump it's amazing and the cops don't want to have to do this. I mean, whatever. It's just there's a book in process. And I've been processed before. It's over somewhat quickly. Could, if they want to drag it out, they can drag it out. It's kind of yeah. annoying. But. This is never going to end with Trump. They will always endlessly go after him no matter what. Yeah, it's, it's like Georgia gonna... has nothing to do with him. So the next state, the next state, and the next state going to keep doing yes, this to him. Totally. Fascinating. But speaking of Trump. It, is have... it true that uh, Patrick T-, T here says Biden's ad said he took down Big Pharma? Is that true? <laughs> That's the opposite of what happened. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lie. They shouldn't be allowed to lie in campaign ads. He took down Big Pharma. What's Pfizer's like the number one that grew by like 100% over the whole COVID thing? That's wild. Yeah. I'd like to also <laughs> take a look at who's you know funding Biden, who's funding Pfizer, and see if there's any crossover there and kind of weird shit like that. Who oh, knows what's going on? Yeah, who knows what's going on with that? That's that's a wild I, situation. I would not doubt it. But in other good Trump news, Trump, President Trump was on Tucker, Tucker Carlson last night, and the clip alone on Twitter has 175 million views already. Whoa! Was posted at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern last night, and yeah, it's a 46 minute video. I'll put the link in the chat right now for anybody who might want to go see that in a different tab or after the show today. You know, it's on Tucker Tucker Carlson's uh, Twitter account there. Yeah, I'm going to definitely check that out. Uh, Yeah, I do want to watch it, but... Yeah. Uh, Real quick, we got uh, Giga Death, the graphic novel, is in... It's Giga, but yes. Hi, Giga Giga Death. Or maybe he... 
I think this... a guy gan because I'm a Godzilla guy. So anytime I see Giga Gaiga, Death, is it? But it's Giga, I guess. Yeah, that makes more sense. Every time I've heard someone say it, because he's a comic skater and a creator, I'm assuming it's Giga Death. He's never corrected anybody. But hi, Giga Death. Thank you for being in the chat. Very cool. That's um, very cool. So yeah, everybody go take a look at that. Uh, we'd love to EFAP that, but that's a 46 minute video. I'm sure it's very cool. Um, let's play the first few seconds of it. Sure. It's debate night, but we're not in Milwaukee. Nice. Mr. President, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Why aren't you at the Fox News debate tonight in Milwaukee? Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that, and many people said you should. Oh, yeah, there was a Republican debate, the Republican debate, and he wasn't there, so that's what they're talking about. Good. But you see the polls have come out, and I'm leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero and uh, two. And I'm saying, do I sit there for an hour or two hours, whatever it's going to be, and uh, get harassed by people that shouldn't even be running for president? Should I be doing that? Uh, and a network that isn't particularly friendly to me. Very well said, Mr. President. Very well said. Cool beans. Very cool. Y'all go check that out. Hi, Tree Goblin. Thank you for being in the chat today. Another beautiful comic skater there. Oh, welcome. Um, welcome. Yep. In other world news, uh, Fukushima is currently releasing nuclear radiation into the Pacific Ocean as a part of their wastewater release that has caused China to ban seafood from Japan. I wonder if we've banned it. I wow. Wow. Yeah. No, I thought this was, uh, I kind of skimmed that article. They said it was treated wastewater. What does that mean, treated? They I guess they in there? filtered out the nuclear radiation from it. I have no idea how that works. If this is a normal process that they do, I don't know anything about nuclear power plants, not to mention ones that had prior meltdowns. I have no idea. Well, I know like in like Chernobyl, they discovered this algae that uh, absorbs radiation and digests it and all that. And I wonder if that's what they would treat it with, because they, they were talking about using the same algae to like use for spacecraft radiation protection. We could so watch this little video. And so part of me is like, is this just flat out fear mongering that this is like way worse than it is? But if they're banning seafood, then that doesn't sound good. Yeah, let's see. Let's play this video real quick. I can't do anything about that audio, by the way. It's not my fault. Oh, not the Japanese, fault. yeah. Well, and it's also very bad audio. I think he's speaking in the helicopter. That's why it sounds like that. Radioactive waste. I'm going to read the bottom, I guess, if you want to. Okay, let's go back to the beginning so you can read it. If you can read it. I'm trying to get that. Okay, there you go. Here we go. Uh, radioactive wastewater from the wrecked Fukushima Daiichi, Daiichi. Daiichi nuclear power plant is being discharged into the Pacific Ocean. It, it's a milestone for Japan's battle with the growing radioactive water stockpile after the plant was struck by a powerful tsunami in 2011. Uh, Janichi Matsumoto TEPCO executive in charge of water release. We think that's a big milestone towards one of many steps of uh, sorry. Of decommissioning and a solid move forward. Going yeah. forward, we believe we would be shifting towards processes that entail more risk, including the removal and safe storage of fuel debris and spent fuel. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah. So that's what's going on over there. We'll see. You. I mean, it could, it could make better fish. It could be make yummier fish. Um, hello, Knit Diver Five in the chat. Hello. And, uh, Yes. Oh, what was that comment he made? Supposedly only tritium is in the water. Okay. Only, tr yeah, tritium. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but sure. I believe it's a byproduct of waste, uh, of nuclear waste. I, I want to say that like the radioactivity might be lower in that, but the tritium, it's a, it's like tritium's like a, they find it after like nuclear explosions on that. It's like a, I don't know what you call it, like a compound. It's a small price to pay for uh, the best energy source we currently have available since we can't seem to get the solar thing down even though that should be the best one um and no, no, have... nuclear power is flat out the best and all these issues that we ever had with nuclear power plants has only happened in old like the fukushima plant should have been decommissioned years before 2011 same with chernobyl chernobyl was run down it was 
didn't have any of the same safety protocols uh, that was even the standard at the time. Yeah, it was noble. like so, dilapidated and stuff. It was really gross. If you ever wanted to actually get to, like get a good idea together, it would be putting a series of nuclear reactors like in the middle of like Utah, say deep in the ground where you got a lot of like salt, like sodium, uh, sodium and copper composites in the soil. And you could build giant nuclear reactors down there. And if they do melt down, you just light them up, lock it in there, and then it would keep the spread of radiation. But we could power up the entire country with just a series of nuclear reactors deep. But they have to be on a they have to be on a water source. That's why everything it's always on the ocean or a river. And side. that's why they always say the Badlands is there's a lot of underwater uh, oh. like rivers and all that. They could use oh. that to cool it down. It's actually a good idea then. I'm very um, pro nuclear energy. Yeah, boy. Well, you have a theory about this whole situation, don't you? Regarding Godzilla? Oh, I'm just saying, Japan and nuclear uh, right? I mean, I, I'm a big believer in like we manifest things. At uh, I'm just saying, if you could all just manifest Godzilla, the world would be a better place. But also, Godzilla minus one is coming out soon. It's a Japanese. Oh uh, yeah, I suspect this might be a, maybe a promotional thing for Godzilla minus one coming to uh, releasing in Japan November third and coming to America December first. Yep, and we're going to Sheila see it. will be at the premiere. I'm going to get yes, my suit we on. We've been invited to the premiere by ourselves, and we're going to go. It's going to be great. Um, I wanted to comment real quick. This is the tie-dye update for my microphone cover because Mike, um, he took the yellow one, and he tied it with a pink one just to keep them together. And I unraveled them, and I found out it had some pink tie-dye on it. So then I tied it together with a blue one yesterday, and this is the update. I'm going to put it with a green one next time. So. Yeah, because I purchased, I wanted some different microphone covers. So I purchased like a, it said like a six color multi-pack of mic covers on Amazon. It was on Amazon for like $3 and I got it. And it was like, that's like one of many bags. It was like this, like this stuff's cheap is what I'm saying. I got like a it box came with full thousands of, of them. Thousands came in. And these are tied together. I'm curious to see what that looks like when I unravel it. It's purple and, and lime, like alien green. So. Oh, my beautiful talk, uh, dark twisted. Bagel tree. Bago tree. That, it's Bago tree. Wow, Japan is your birth nation. Right on. I that's that's the country between so Ireland cool. and Japan. That's the two countries I, I wanted to visit the most. I gotta go to Japan soon. I gotta go. Hail to Matt G. Thank you for joining us. And hey Matt G. The number one moderator and also Jordan Horst. Thank you for joining Horst? us. And anonymity. Yep. Um, who says hundred percent? And then Matt G, by the way, says, Oh, that's emoji stuff. What's this stream? You know what the stream is. Come on, y'all. Get with the program. Um, Anonymity T2. Hail. Good morning. Hello, JB Rance again. Welcome back, Boston. Hey, JB Rance. Boston Strong. And hello to Baz in the chat. Um, Need a tall glass of Fukushima water, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, Cool. Caught up with chat again. And I wanted to... Pop over to pill.net, which is a new thing that we signed up for. Hold on. Let me go present my thing. Okay. Yes, Sheila is simulcasting to pill.net, which is a new, it's so, a new uh, video free. platform, social platform. It's free. Yes, and it is um, free speech oriented. You know, it looks a little intimidating, but get over there, sign up. It might be the next big thing. Oh, I haven't added it yet. I'm sorry. Um, It might be the next big thing. Here it is. This is it on screen here. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I was over here asking because I can enable gifts for the chatters to use, which sounds like great fun. I didn't know how to do it. I got you on the gifts. I'll send screenshots and DM. Oh, should I dox my DMs on here? I don't care. Oh no, he didn't send them. That's the that's the sad thing. He never did send it. Wait, he says DM sent. Maybe I need to refresh. Should I refresh? Is it going to stop sharing if I refresh? No, oh, is it still sharing? Still yeah, good? still share. Okay, I think he did send it. Very nice. Very um, cool. Oh, I haven't added it yet. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, two quick comments on the nuclear react the nuclear stuff is uh from Knit Diver Five. Uh, tritium or hydrogen three is a rare radioactive isotope of hydrogen and a half life of about twelve years. And then he said tritium is used. Uh, I I that's, that's where I heard it from. I think is tritium is used in night sights for weapons that glow in the dark. Yeah, that's correct. They also used to use it in um. They probably still do and compasses and all that, uh, but they use a much more like radioactive version of it in the early 1920s and 30s. And uh, we we'll get it one day. We're we'll talking about that do that Doitlif Pass incident. Why they had toilet or toilet? Yeah, because they had like high levels of radiation, but also hiking gear back in those days and mountaineering gear used a lot of tritium. 
Cool. So I am now enabling the GIFs for you guys to use in the chat over on pill.net. Cool. Yes. That's been enabled now. We're all good to go. Thank you for that. Who white? <laughs> what was his name? He had a funny name. Who? Who white memes? Glow in the dark. Oh, yeah. yeah, correct. They also used to use it. Oh, that, that was me talking. Wow. You heard that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I had to mute it or pause it. Who white memes? Thank you for that. Cool. What's up? Who is Cecil? Cool. Yes, I advertised you as a Cecil impersonator when I uh, was putting this out on Twitter today. I, I did order my, my reverse Cecil headgear. It's coming in September 5th from Amazon. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to have fun with that even off air. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got it. I'm going to get it twice as much as I get now. Yeah, I get your bang for your buck with that. Trust me. Um, who is Cecil? Hey. Thank you for joining us in chat. Um, so I just wanted to check in on those wonderful, beautiful people over there at pill.net. You're awesome. Who white memes in the chat over there. And we have um, a couple of viewers over there. That's very cool. All right. Next, what do we have here? Oh, in comic skate news real quick. Sorry if you don't know what comic skate is. I can't begin to explain it. But Malin, John Malin, former artist for... Either Marvel or I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Marvel. He was a former artist for Marvel comic books. Now he's an independent comic book creator. He's out here running psyops for pigs, as in swines, not not police officers. He's talking about how we only like bacon. Nobody really loves bacon as much as they say they do. Bacon is not a thing. Kevin Bacon is not a thing. And I said, Malin out here running psyops for the swine. Do you see any of this? Is it showing? I mean, okay. it's a bold statement to make that no one loves bacon, but I would agree that it's also. I think the 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 overhype of bacon is cringe. Like That's when what they he's remember, remember they were yeah, and I kind of agree with that part of it. Yeah, you can see uh, his whole statement here. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, I like bacon. It's good. We we eat it almost every day ourselves. Yeah, so. it's a good breakfast uh, thing. You throw it in the air fryer, let it go. It's there, yeah. And then um, that was my air fryer humble brag. Yeah, the air fryer. I'm I only started using that since I got here and I do approve of it. It's a great invention and they have cheap ones for like 40, 50 bucks. They work really good for a lot of things. Um you have been programmed for decades to repeat without thought how much you love bacon by Bacon Company and even Kevin Bacon. This was John Malin making these bold rambling statements here. So I said Malin out here running psyops for the swine and then he put pigs are people. And I said, oh, I said, um, he shows a very cute gif of a very cute piggy wiggy. And I said that, thank goodness, somebody else cuts off that adorable face for us before we buy the bacon at the store. So that's yeah, yeah. the comic skate news for today. That's comic skate news for today. There's probably actual comic skate news out there, but I'm not really following it that closely right now. Sorry, you guys. I'm at G's promoting uh, Anna's uh, cosplay calendar bikini edition. Can I get a free one since I'm promoting it too do people who promote it get a free one i don't know matt g did you get a free one i don't know yeah who's getting free ones of these yeah i would love one and cecil needs to send me free uh cash grab comic book that he made so next we have entertainment news we have space weather news and we have weather weather yeah what do you guys want you want entertainment news you want space weather news where are we at well don't let them choose oh yeah because we can go ahead and let them choose we'll wait yeah what do you guys want you guys want space news you want uh some entertainment news Maggie said, no, definitely not free. Oh, my <laughs> no. Space weather says Vermont. So we're going to go with that. He's our super chatter for today. OK, we'll do some space weather. I can bring that up. I got some space Very weather. Good. Let me find it real quick on. I wouldn't mind a free Cecil calendar, as Matt G has mentioned. We need a free Cecil calendar. Free can I make Cecil. like a ripoff? Can I make like a reverse Cecil calendar, bikini calendar? Please do. I'm down for that as well. Um. Hello, Iron Oxide. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Hello, Bob. Bug with one eyes. King is king. Comics gate is for fat, bald men like Sheila. Thank you. I have I'm it bald. up if you want. What's that? I said I am technically bald somewhere. And fat. Um, yeah, bring it up. Let's see here. There we go. Let me know when you got it. Right on. So, uh, first off, uh, Sheila was very shocked that this is an anti-AI the spaceweather.com is anti Can you zoom in on that? Can you do a command plus zoom in on this? 
this nonsense here. Perfect. Yeah. I always like this web page. This website is very informative for space weather. But then I go up here and it says this is an AI free zone. Text created by chat GPT and other large language models, also called LLMs, is spreading rapidly across the Internet. It's well written, artificially, frequently inaccurate. <laughs> if you find a mistake on spaceweather.com, rest assured it was made by a real human being. AI free zone. OK, whatever. They're right, right. about that. It, that's accurate, actually. Yeah, I would say it does make a lot of mistakes when it's trying to like it's it's like a it's very similar to like a, someone trying to copy homework for uh, or make up stuff for college just to fill out paperwork. Yeah, it sounds good, but it's not. But when you get to the facts of it, it's usually not accurate yet. But you can still just but, but what you're doing when you edit something G Chat GPT has written for you, you're fact checking it, you're correcting it, and then by that time you you learn everything anyway. So it's like it's it's good for everybody. Totally. So we have a geomagnetic storm watch. A magnetic filament erupted near the sun's southwestern limb on August 23rd. The, the debris might graze Earth's magnetic field on August 27th, according to the NOAA models. A glancing blow could spark G1-class geomagnetic storms with auras with auroras around the Arctic Circle. Uh, where it uh, says movie. Could you click that? This is what it looked like when it spat. The um, movie link up, 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 right there. Click that. This is there it is. Yep. So if you're in the Arctic, if you're in Antarctica, watch out. Yep, it's coming for you. It's, it's gonna. It just means northern lights and possible radio broadcast disruptions. It'll make like static over the airwaves and stuff. Not that big of a deal, but pretty cool. It's coming pretty right cool for stuff. us. Pretty cool stuff. Very cool. And how about some weather weather? The outlook oh. for Thursday. Yes, let me pop on. Let me find that good warning right now. Uh, you sent me one that had a proper. Yeah, I can put it in the private chat again. Yeah, it's no, there. I got it up. It should be up, right? Yeah, very good. Uh, we have scattered severe thunderstorms producing damaging winds. And this is going to be in the. Uh, I'll show you where it's at. After it's you're in... done, you'll click that map. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I'll show you this. But right up here, if you're in the uh, like Michigan, Great Lakes, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and this is going into the Appalachian Trail. So my hiker friends out there who may be on this stretch of the Appalachian Trail on their way to Maine, uh, watch out. But we There's have a 5% uh, chance of tornadoes. So, Yes. Uh, scatter severe thunderstorms producing damaging winds, large hail, and perhaps some tornado risk are expected late this afternoon through tonight across parts of the southern Great Lakes region towards the central Appalachian. Some of the wind gusts could be significant. 75 miles plus. That's pretty fast. Pretty fast, pretty fast stuff. Pretty fast stuff. And I got the, uh, let me uh, bring... Did that switch over correctly? Oh, no, 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 no. Sir. I did it wrong. My bad. My bad. It's okay, babe. That's okay, darling. And I want to say real quick hello to Shimp Himp in the chat. Very cool. Cool name. Never seen you before. Hello there. If I can Patrick bring up teased. some webcams in the area. Oh, excuse me. Perfect. It rained uh, in Colorado last night, says Patrick T. Very fascinating. Beautiful weather here in North Carolina. Um, there you go. Um, here's the webcams. Yeah, let's take a look. Here's a webcam that's right kind of in the center of it. Let me go to providers. It's right off the Great Lakes. Not in Erie, but let me see if there's a town Ooh. close. It's nearer to Cleveland. Oh, my God. Oh it's my God. kind of a clunky. Uh, it's a clunky map. It is what it is. Oh, let's pop in on Erie. Here's Erie right now. Let me see if I can bring up the... Uh, Provider's website. <laughs> provider website. Those ones are typically traffic. Yeah, traffic cams. Oh. Uh, they're not used well sometimes yeah you never know that's a whole nother map you got to fuck with so that's a whole other thing but try that yeah, other yeah. one sorry any of these other ones should be fine this is um, a traffic one this one might be good you never let's know. see what it's, let's see what it's looking like out there no nope, no nope, it's another okay I'll, I'll try the one with the blue sky down there to the left is that one a traffic cam as well that's beautiful go to the, the 20... website yeah 24 hours you get the same idea it's beautiful Wow, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Whoa. Whoa. Camera's not available. Ooh. Ooh, that's not yeah. that does not bode well. <laughs> but if you're and in I this region. Like, yeah, there's out. some definitely there's stuff. De definitely down. some gnarly wind action going on here. But what's happening right here? Where do you see? Is there something happening? There's like a it's like a calm spot right here. Yeah, why is that? Near Maybe West Virginia. Mountains, probably mountains. I guess. Right. I guess. We'll go with that. There's a song about West Virginia and mountains, so there might be mountains there. Who knows? Watch out for Kim trails, you guys. 
We had those like a week ago. They're out there. Samsonite says, in Morgantown, West Virginia, it's been rainy and overcast since last night. Same system. Cool. Okay. Well, stay safe out there. Those uh, 75 mile an hour winds are no joke. I recommend a channel Dutch Sense for uh, weather and uh, catastrophe updates. (laughs) Dutch Sense, he's been around for as long as I have, over a decade. So everyone check him out. Um, Yeah, he's an old friend of the channel, whether he remembers it or not. So we got that, we got the space weather, and we got pilled again. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I'm looking at some uh that tornado tracker HQ, seeing if there's any warnings up, but there's nothing no. right this moment. Mm-mm, I just looked at that. Yeah, there's no warnings up currently, but you had some uh Russian news or something like that, didn't you? It, yes, and I even learned how to pronounce that guy's name, but then I immediately forgot. But yes, I do have that. Let me bring that up here. Cool. Then we can do like entertainment news. Wow, we're barreling through these too quickly. Yeah, I know. I was like, this is going to be like a three-hour stream. But no, I think we're doing good. It should be. So, yes, my favorite mercenary, uh, Prokhoznin from the Wagner Corporation, who's doing a lot of the uh, fighting for Russia over in Ukraine. He uh, Most notably, he uh, rolled his mercenary army into Moscow just a few months ago. His okay. plane was shot down, and his mercenary group is now claiming that uh, Russia, uh, we'll get into it, Ukraine war alive, Wagner fighters warn Putin, expect us after Prigozhin's killed in plane crash. Mass men claiming to belong to a Wagner group have warned the Kremlin to get ready for us after the reported death of their leader. Uh, there's a lot of talk right now about what the Wagner group will do. We can tell you one thing, we're getting started. Get ready for us, the men warned in a video posted on Russian Telegram channels. Mercenary chief Mr. Prigozhin is reported to be among 10 people killed in a plane crash in Russia. Footage showed the flaming wreckage after a private jet came down near Moscow. The plane carrying three pilots and seven passengers was traveling from Moscow to St. Petersburg, according to officials cited by Russia State News. Has Mr. Prigozhin was on the passenger list for the plane, Russian Civil Aviation Authority said. Mr. Prigozhin's fate has been a subject of intense speculation ever since he mounted a short-lived mutiny against the Russian military leadership in late June. Okay, we do have a mutiny ki- taking place in chat. I believe some of these people are going to another Comics Gate stream, and that's fine. See you guys okay, later. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and welcome Russell Hall. My bet is he was taken out by secret co-conspirators. Wow. Mm, interesting. Here's the flight track where the plane crashed. The plane of Picos and is reported to be, have been flying on a private business jet and in Embarrow Legacy 600 registration 02795. The aircraft is a 26 meter long, has a wingspan of 21 meters, and a top speed of 528 miles per hour. Has a range of nearly 4,000 miles. But it crashed near the village of Kusnehikino, northwest of Moscow, during a flight from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Wow. So it's definitely suspicious that it was shot down over Russian territory. Yeah, you think? Like over, yeah, uh, highly suspicious. Highly suspicious. Um, hello, Lesky V in chat. Thank you for being here. Giga Death says he's staying here, so that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Right on. What 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 Comics Gate stream is starting up? Is it like a big one? <laughs> Have I put on weight since I got here? I think I've lost weight. Anyway, whatever. Sorry, someone in chat. Three Goblin being a Goblin. This is how they show that they love me as they. They make fun of me and it hurts my feelings. Um, thank you, Vermont. I'm an OG. But uh, that's what's going on in chat. Mutiny and uh, disruption is going on in our chats. But I do have another story here. I'm going to share it. Uh, here it is. A, a, a teen left his high school after officials. This is in uh, Virginia, was it? Let me, let me double check that. Virginia. Okay. A Virginia teen left his high school after officials told him to remove the American flag from his truck. That's Flags. crazy. That's This is really getting out of hand here. Flags, plural, yeah. Let's watch this little news video. This is crazy. Like, Are they anti-American all of a sudden in schools? Uh, suddenly, all of a sudden. the American flag is like some sort of like... It's a Nazi some, thing. It, yeah, it's like an extremist thing now. It's like, what the fuck? It's freaking out of control, dude. And now he's being homeschooled, which is totally fine. Christopher Hartless says he is just exercising his First Amendment rights by flying this flag. Cool truck. My family fought for America 
and I feel like I oh, should be able to represent the flag. Heck yeah. What's up? First off, I guess that's his girlfriend. Uh, looks kind of like a Chloe Moretz Grace kind of like clone. girlfriend or a mom. Who knows? Or mom. But yeah, question mark. But that's a sweet truck. I like the color. I love them Toyotas. I love yeah. that rack he's got on the back of it. I don't know what it is. It's toolbox. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, I can see that kid probably puts in a puts in a dog cage in the back, goes bear hunting on the weekends. Heck yeah. Eggs that they fought for. His stepmom, Christina Kingry, says last Wednesday, Heartless went step to school mom. with the flags <laughs> mounted on his truck. School administration told him he needed to take them down because it was a distraction. I don't understand how it's dis or, uh, distracting if they have one on the flagpole that every other student can see. Heartless refused to take the flags down. Like I told my son, is if this is what he's believing in, me and his dad are both going to stand behind him all the way till the end of it. About 10 minutes. That's the stepmom. Oh, okay. It could be his mom too, like age wise, but no, that's the stepmom. She's a little young looking, but you know giggity the first period today heartless says he was told he needed to take them down again the school also revoked his parking pass kingry doesn't want him to have to ride the bus so they're going to homeschool him or if they're willing to change and let kids want to fly the american flag then i'll put him back in stanton river but until then he possibly put him back in stanton river um but if they don't then i'm going to continue to let him fly his flag I reached out to the school system asking for an interview, but I was told no one was available. The yeah, you're not getting no interview. A clarification statement over the weekend to parents that says the student parking contract states, quote, large flags or banners are not allowed to be flown or displayed on vehicles due to their distractive nature. The statement also read, quote, please be assured that we proudly fly the American flag throughout the school. I think that. Every student, doesn't matter what you believe in, what flag you fly, as long as it, it's not harmful and it doesn't disgrace our country, you have the right to fly. What if it was a, a trans flag? Would they make him No, stop? they wouldn't even, no, they wouldn't dare tell them to take that down. They wouldn't think too, no, they would never take that down. That's kind of what I figure. I feel that that yeah. is correct. And yeah. I don't understand what the distraction of this is. Uh, down here, I see fl people fly flags, especially around the Fourth of July. Everyone's got a flag out the back of their truck. In the I, I, I've never, I, I've, I've never been driving. I went, oh, a flag, and then careened into a tree. In never California, happened. Mexicans fly their, you know, their Mexican whatever it is. Where yeah, they're always talking about um the race La Raza, La Raza, which is kind of a racist thing, but that's what they say. It means you know Mexican power. Basically, they they fly that flag out off their trucks, which is cool. I live yeah. with, like I said, illegal. Hispanics. And once again, jump back on the truck. TRD Sports got those uh, premium alloy wheels. I like this kid. I could party with this kid. Heck I'm yeah, old enough like to him. remember, and living down here, I'm old enough to remember pre Columbine, uh, it was not uncommon during hunting season for kids to have shotguns up in their in their window, like in the back wow. window rack. Like that, and it was normal. No one said anything about it. It was never a, a deal. Now oh. we're getting to the point now where if you fly an American flag on the back of your truck, that's distractive or that's. That's crazy, crazy, right? What's gone wrong with this country? It's crazy. So, yeah. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool that the American flag has got that, like, rebel thing going on again. Like, it's getting that uh, it's getting that old juice back pumped into it. Yes. Like, That's cool. It shouldn't be a problem. Like, don't, they shouldn't die on this hill at that school. I can imagine the next... I'm going to try to remember to look at this, because the next uh, school board meeting is going to be pretty lit in that district. <laughs> It's gonna be cool because oh, the yeah. public co the public comments portion is gonna be really awesome. I'm gonna take a look at that. Oh, if I was a student at that school, I'm st even if I was driving like a Honda Civic, I'm sticking an American flag on that fucking thing after this. Heck yeah, of course they they go again like suspend everybody. I doubt yeah, exactly. It. So that's how you uh, fight back against the system. So I guess we could get into some entertainment news. Yeah, you guys ready for entertainment news with our favorite entertainment correspondent? Yep, uh, producer Tuna is just bringing up our correspondent here. She is Mecca Random. Mecca Random! Welcome to the show. Hey. Hey, Mecca. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, where's the boom? Here. <clears throat> is it time for lunch? Anyone want to buy us lunch? Don't buy me lunch. Oh, so I honestly don't know what's actually going on, but yeah, it's it's not good. You guys. It's just not a very good, um, 
use of my my time and energy. You know, <laughs> right now, Reva hey, is Rob. saying, "That's right." I taught her how to survive, be hit by a lightsaber. Re, re, re. So this is I I put that at, um, at a bridge yesterday. I'm just, just going to can go on my my case. Red, red's their other new song. Red. Something. It's from it's from another anime. It's their other new song. Thank you, Mecca, for that Ashoka Star Wars series conversation. It's incredible. She's amazing. She's amazing. Correct. I was muted. Sorry. Thank you, Mecca. And I did mean to say hi to Rob. Hi, Rob. Um he popped in. I wasn't expecting that. That's very cool. Um, but, you know, Rob, we do care about whatever you were trying to talk about, even though she said she didn't care. Yeah, we do care, Rob. We like you, Rob. We want to hear says, about that. Black Wave achieves nothing. It only achieves something when the other side doesn't like it. When they get when they react time. poorly. To when it. they react to it, then it does achieve something. I agree fully with this. Um, 100 percent. By desert of the real, I wanted to say hello. Thank you for joining us. And if you have to yeah. go, that's fine. Um, have a great day and hello Bane Mailer for joining us. Uh, thank you for joining us in the chat here. Yes, thanks for joining us. Very cool. We have 31 people watching. Thank you, everybody. And we have also people on Pilled. Um nice. Wild Irish Rose is over there, um, over here on Pilled. With us. I'm gonna pop up on Twitter, see what's uh see what we've got anything trending that might be interesting. Uh nope. certainly <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Uh, why is Kim Cattrall trending? What's going on with that? Yeah, check it out. Um, over here on Pilled, we have two Wild Irish Rose. I don't know if that person is like a Pilled. But they are a Pilled admin. And I'm, I think, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. They're cool. They're my moderator now over here. Um, Very nice. Oh, uh, the AMC stock thing. We don't really, I don't really understand finances like this, but I guess there's a, a stonk situation going on with amc the theater holder stonks wow can you bring it up yes i'm gonna yeah, follow there's... them real quick we know nothing about stonks but yeah I, I i really need to look into this but it seems like another type of situation where they're trying to tank this stock very similar to the gamestop situation uh, let me well before it was gamestop and amc the same exact thing happened they noticed they were doing a short buy or something like that whatever this means i vaguely remember and so the uh, some subreddit got together and they all saved it, even though AMC is kind of dying. But here we go. Blarbful, thank you for joining us. As people with mediocre singing ability are irritating because they feel the need to sing constantly. No one cares. I agree. Yeah. It blows my mind. Like my, my favorite part of that clip is when she's just like, tells Rob, no one cares. When he's the only one even trying to talk about the Star Wars Ashoka Khan series, whatever it's called. Ashoka. <laughs> yeah, Ashoka. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> I love she's great. And it's amazing every day. There's just some amazing clip from her. Yes, and she's always singing. She got instruments. It's a very entertaining show she puts on, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, it's entertaining in a, you know. <laughs> yes, for, for Vermont Joshua, yeah, AMC stock is up 200% in the end of the last fiscal. Well, yeah, for them. it's. I guess, yeah, I guess there was an attempt to kind of like take it down, but um, yeah, it, it blew up. So uh, that's good. Yeah, I like AMC theaters. I prefer them over, uh, it used to be Regal. Is Regal still around? I don't even, oh, Regal theaters? I have no idea. We need to go to see a movie together. We've done that once so far. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the red pill and click the bell to turn on notifications cool it says wow oh Irish. cool you click a red pill on pill that's pretty cool yeah if you click the blue one it means you don't like it if you click the red one <laughs> it means you do <laughs> pretty that, awesome that rolls yeah like that's pretty yeah, awesome yeah it is cool so there's that um yeah that's all i got for today i'm amazed we went through all those stories so quick that's amazing well we could go back and watch some of that trump and tucker carlson yeah let's go back and watch some of that yeah because I do want to watch that. I'm gonna too. we're we're gonna sit and watch that probably. So, but not right now. But you know, we'll watch some of it right now. Um, let me get back to that real quick. Oh, Jordan Horse has explained this a little bit. Short is betting on something to lose, and then the insider traders make policies to sabotage a stock. They're shorting. Okay. 
Oh, short. Yeah. Okay. Short buying or something like that. Whatever you call it. Hi, Itchy Nads. Thank you for joining us today in the chat. <laughs> wow. Itchy Nads. She's entertaining like a car wreck. About Yes. Like a very referring. slow car wreck. That's our entertainment correspondent there, Mecca Random. Yep. Vermont Cheddar says Tucker is a true American. I hope he stays real. I'm glad he's like indie now. He's independent. Uh, let me bring this up real quick. I got it. Can I feel like he will continue to stay real just because of how much he's being he was pushed out of the uh, mainstream like i think that grounded him that's all that does whenever you yeah. get a, a lot of resistance from these black rock funded vanguard things that just yeah. means you're you're an honest person that's what that means that's how i interpreted it i agree yeah it makes you like you know gives you uh validity basically i guess let's watch some of this real quick we'll skip around or whatever because i'm curious it's debate night but we're not in milwaukee Mr. President, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Why aren't you at the Fox News debate tonight in Milwaukee? Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that, and many people said you shouldn't do them, but you see the poll. I do have to go to the restroom. So if you want to watch this with them while I go to uh, that. Sure. I don't have. Yeah, I'll give you the okay. link. I can give it so you can pause it. So you can pause it. I'm going to send it over to you. I'm yeah, yeah. Gonna switch that over to me. Yeah, it's in the private chat right now. Um while I go do what I have to do. And I'm gonna take off my sharing of it. The, the, the producer Tuna is doing a great job, by the way, behind the scenes. Oh, a wonderful job, yeah. Agreed. Thanks you for joining bring us. This Thank you. Why aren't you at the Fox News debate tonight in Milwaukee? Well, you know, a lot of people have been asking me that, and many people said you shouldn't do them, but you see the polls have come out and I'm leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero and uh, two. And I'm saying, do I sit there for an hour or two hours, whatever it's going to be, and uh, get harassed by people that shouldn't even be running for president? Should I be doing that? Uh, and a network that isn't particularly friendly to me, frankly. You know, they uh, they were back in Ronda Sanctimonious like crazy, and now they've given up on him. I mean, he's that's a lost cause. It reminded me very much of... Real quick, not, not, nothing really to do with, with the uh, what they're talking about, but I, I, I got the uh, old Sheila's bathroom. I did in Cedar Planks. A good buddy of mine did that. Uh, I've been wanting to do the dining room, which is more of like a breakfast nook in this same kind of wood style. It's like a like a barn pine kind of thing. I guess it's more of an oak. But Sheila is not having it. She's like, oh no, red. She'd get made fun of if anybody saw. Her saw the dining room like that. I disagree. Thoughts, discuss. 2016, you know, in 2016, I went through the same stuff and had to fight them all the way. And then they became very friendly after I won or just about when I was winning. But I just felt it would be uh, more appropriate not to do the debate. I don't think it's uh, right to do it. Uh, if you're leading by 50, 60, I have one problem leading by 70 points. And I'm saying, why am I doing it? And I'm going to have eight people, 10 people, whoever made the debate, I don't know how many it is, but I'm gonna have all these people screaming at me, shouting questions at me, all of which I love answering, I love doing, but it doesn't make sense to do them. So uh, I've taken a pass, as it's, you probably noticed. Well, I, I, did, I did, I'm grateful that you did. Um, it's interesting though, because you spent a lot of your career in television. Yeah. Um, you would a top show in television on NBC, um, but you don't- Hey, this is a great point. The media had a lot to do with creating the Trump persona like they were the ones that put him on the pedestal they created this and they they cheered him on it's just wild how the brainwashing took over and suddenly the whole media is against him but they didn't mind when he was on the apprentice they didn't mind putting him on saturday night live they didn't mind any of that until he went against the status quo don't feel the need now running for president to do television obviously do you think television is declining well, according to a poll that I guess we just saw, it just came out where it's down like 30, 35 percent. But I think they were talking, referring to cable. I think cable's down because it's lost credibility. MSNBC, or as they say, MSDNC, is so bad. It's so wrong what they write and what they do and what they say. It's, you know, it's fake news, as I said. I think I came up with that term. I hope I did because it's a good one. It's not tough enough anymore. It's corrupt news. You know, really what you do is call corrupt news. But Somehow that doesn't play as nicely, but uh, it is corrupt news. So you have uh, MSNBC and you have CNN, 
who's absolutely doing no ratings at all. I mean, they're dead, but they're doing none because they don't have. And he's right. There are some shows on CNN that are making like, I think there's some around like 30,000 viewers. I mean, those YouTube, almost every YouTuber makes more views than CNN. Than yeah, I mean, that. Same. Yeah, people swing that easily. YouTubers make way more views. Like, there's this guy called Adam Post. Comicsgate will remember him. He's blown up. He gets way more views yeah. than that within the first hour of his posts, basically. Yeah, like me, uh, also like Memeology 101. They just do short little news segments, and it's like they, millions mm -hmm. of John views. John Talks, That's, too. Yeah. Yeah, John Talks, certainly. Welcome to Tranny Fluid in the chat. <laughs> you are fake news. Okay. Fox is if you say so. And uh, the good old days are, are long ago. I will say this. Uh, it could come back, but they have. Oh, yeah. No, I remember. Because Trump said to CNN. Can you pause it? Okay. Remember, Trump looked right at MSNBC or CNN and said, you are fake news. He looked right in the camera and pointed at them and said, you are fake news. Oh, at yeah. One of his, that was. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Oh, wow. We have a super chat from Patrick T. You could do a painted ship lap cleaner look similar aesthetic what does this mean yeah well when you you when you were taking a little pee pee i was telling about how i was talking about our the dining room breakfast nook area at first i told him about the bathroom how it was done in cedar planks mm -hmm. it looks like a nice like log cabin kind of style i wanted to do the it's comfy that, yes i wanted to do the dining room area and i explained to you in like refurbished barn wood you know like the uh what it's called reclaimed uh barn wood yeah, and do the same style that's behind Car Tucker Carlson. And uh, you were highly against it because Red Bar would make fun of you if he mm -hmm. saw it. Because of the cliche at this point, because all these podcasters started using it, like Chris D'Elia, who is, you don't want to be associated with him. I'm not saying podcast in front of it. I'm saying it's already it's got a like home. A, okay. Maybe. Yeah, but it's got like an old bar theme already. It just has like the ugly walls that we see behind i'm just gonna go ahead and trust your i trust your aesthetic uh situation i know it's not currently how we want it we understand that and you want to improve that so that's fine i trust you okay yeah look at your shirt i mean you got style <laughs> perhaps better than anybody i think it was a terrible move getting rid of you you were number one on television and all of a sudden you're we're doing I'll look up ship lab. I don't we talk about ratings using this crazy forum that you're using then thank you patrick probably... T. Uh, probably the debate or competition. Who, when, you, when you say there are people on stage who shouldn't be running for president, who do you mean? Well, I don't want to really use names. And I mean, for a lot of people who are against Trump, I mean, you can dislike him for his attitude or anything like that. It's undeniable at this point that America was better under him. I had, I had, I was middle class under him. I'm like getting right below that poverty line now with uh, inflation going up to nearly 30%. Yeah. I, I had to move I, out of state from California. <laughs> and and people who criticize Trump, they never seem to criticize Biden. It's there's like a weird thing where they can't criticize the current president for all of his failings, but they can criticize the old president for all of his perceived failings. It's psychotic when it doesn't exist. Yeah, I, mean, I, Trump, I remember when he I remember when he first came in. There was like a situation with Iran, and all the news were going like, "Is this going to be Trump's first presidential decision? Is he going to bomb Iran?" And he didn't. Instead, he negotiated or he didn't even negotiate he just like made it better to decisions to not get us into a, another conflict because war wasn't is bad the, the i don't first know if you guys know this wasn't he the first one where there was no war he's the only president in my lifetime who didn't start another war and it's like um the left used to be anti-war but now they're pro it it's, it's like they've switched everything up now yeah and like i said after uh the fall of afghanistan who no one paid attention to everyone let biden let that Afghanistan thing. It's a complete, complete mess up. 12 Marines got killed and they retaliated by accidentally bombing like a, <laughs> like a, some like peacekeeper that was delivering water Whoa. to a neighborhood. And you didn't hear about this? <laughs> no. And they just brushed it off. They, the news played it as, Oh, we got this terrorist. Who, we got these bombers who they came up with this fake terrorist cell called ISIS K. I think it was. And they said, Oh wow. no, it's, they're an enemy against Taliban. Because they couldn't bomb the Taliban when they're because th that would be embarrassing, especially after the Taliban killed 12, 12 right. Marines. So they made up this fake CIA made up this, this ISIS K terrorist cell. They bombed this van that was actually delivering water to like a neighborhood, killed That's a bunch of up. kids. Oh, yeah. Man. And then the news, of course, didn't cover it. And they moved on. And what happens like six months later? Oh, we got to go into Ukraine. Russia's the bad guy. We gotta, we, oh, we have to put support in Ukraine. It's like we just lost a war against cave people. 
And yeah. now you want us to go fight Russians and mercenaries? Plus, they had to pivot away from the whole uh, bug flu yeah, and as, as well. Yeah. And the moment that. that I realized that people were going crazy was when I, I, some of you guys don't know this. I'm a veteran. I fought in Afghanistan. I got told that if I was against Ukraine, if I didn't support that war, that I was an asshole. But where <laughs> the fuck was everybody else supporting the at least bring attention to the fall of Afghanistan, which is a complete debacle, complete debacle. It's insane. Uh, you and then to sit there and criticize Trump for what, being mean. It's like, well, <laughs> shit. It's crazy. Like, I always think of when um, when Biden got in office, when Trump was in office, it was kids in cages down in Mexico. My makeup brush. Yeah, um, that, that Obama implemented. Yeah, but now, now when Biden got in office, they were just in fenced enclosures. Is what they changed it to. The same media source that I looked at changed the wording when Biden was in office. So now they're just in an outside fenced in enclosure. It's not a cage anymore. They changed the wording. They constantly change definitions of words, and that's something that they changed it to be favorable. Look, look to back Biden. in history and see what evil, see what, see what bad governments do to get get their way. And yeah, it was the same cages, that. but you know they they decided to call it a fence at that point because it doesn't sound good to say Biden is keeping kids in cages, even though if if Trump was, Biden is because it's the same situation going yeah. on down there has not been resolved whatsoever. But at this point, it's everyone still criticizing Trump and no one paying attention to Biden and all of his follies. I mean, it, it's insane. Um, Trump looks great with his new gray hair, by the way. Good for him. <laughs> he doesn't look gray. bad. He's a super old guy. He doesn't look bad. Yeah, he's old. He's hanging in there. Cool. You can keep playing it if you want. It's up to oh, you. I, bet. I forgot I was uh, the one. I wanted to say also, <laughs> sorry, real quick. Uh, I... Hi to Jason Kirkpatrick in the chat. Hey, Jason, what's going on? You're quite late, but that's okay. And I want to say hi to Juni Rantanen. Tucker finally have new X logo. Don't know what that means, but I believe it. Oh, I guess he must have had a Twitter logo. Oh, a logo. Okay. A logo. Okay. And uh, there's somebody else in chat. Uh, Somebody new came in. Jason, Juni, and BLT. Hi, BLT. Okay, that's all. Okay. You can carry forward. I call him Ada Hutchinson. It's Asa, but I call him Ada. Why do you I call him Ada? Know, I, you know, I could tell you, but I don't want to get myself in a little trouble. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I don't know what that's about either. I never understood. It's awesome, though. Going. He was the governor of Arkansas. I did not a very popular I think he's guy. misgendering people is what he's doing. It's such a great state. The people are so incredible yes. in that state. And they love me and I love them. How does this guy get elected governor of Arkansas? But he's nasty always and uh, has been. Uh, a guy like Chris Christie, a guy left with a... 8%, think of it, 8% approval rating in New Jersey. Now he's running for president. And he runs solely on the basis, oh, let's get Trump. Let's. He's like a savage uh, uh, maniac. He's like a lunatic. And that's all he talks about. His poll numbers are very, very low. He's about 2%. What's he like? You know him well. No, I've, had, I've been friendly with him over the years, but I couldn't give him a, a job because I just never trusted him very much. Uh, I was just never one of his people that really trusted him. I never gave him the job. Could and you pause it momentarily? I'm yes. sorry. Oh. Um, let me bring something up here real quick. I just want to thank somebody over on pill.net okay. for their, they sent me some pills, whatever that means. I know it's a good thing. And um, it's good to get pills from people. Let's see here. We have redeemed Patriot. Thank you for sending. What did yes, you send? Thank you. you sent me. A hundred pills. Thank you. Yeah, a hundred pills. Woohoo! I got a hundred pills. Very good. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Carry on. Thank Very you. cool. Yeah. Are we bringing it back? Uh, um. Yes, we are. There you go. I feel so hurt and so betrayed. And I understand that. Thank really you, producer Tuna. But I never gave him. You know, he wanted to be different things. He was looking at different. Hi, Waylon Todd. Elements of the administration. No mug hey, shot. Uh, I decided he's not I didn't take wanna, get. I he's not had a mug shot yet. He's going to turn himself in possibly some, later this evening. Some great people. I had great people. We'll have even better people if we do this because now I know Washington. Before I didn't know Washington, but guys like Bill Barr were terrible. I mean, they were, I would say, bushies. 
uh, I, <laughs> I love his that. mouth. Bushy, yeah. Bush fan. Bushy, <laughs> I mean, he plays into it. He plays into it. It really drives. That's the stuff that drives people nuts is these weird little mannerisms that he he then leans into. He it. exaggerates it. it. Yes. He totally exaggerates it. <laughs> it's wonderful. And it drives people nuts. And it's so funny. It's such a stupid thing. <laughs> He's such a troll, man. It's great. Love him. <laughs> uh, just it doesn't work out for us. We it was a... at the beginning of this. He he said two in a way. He said two was like my favorite way. Yes, <laughs> I've never heard anyone two. Just a way to annoy the media, which is yeah. wonderful. Oh, can you believe how he says two? Clear. This is kind of far <laughs> field, but it was just interesting. I read Barr's account. Red Barr. I'm not kidding. Right? Uh, his <laughs> Sorry. autobiography, and in it, he lies about Jeffrey Epstein's death. Clearly, lies. Do you? Do you think Epstein killed himself sincerely? Ooh, I don't good know. question. I, I will say that you know wow. he was a fixture in Palm Beach. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what Barr said about it either. I have no idea what he said. What did he say? He killed himself, probably. He said he killed way. himself, and that they were going to do this investigation. They never did the investigation. It's never been yeah. public, well, and they hid it. And like, have we ever have we ever seen a his body, Epstein's I body? Don't know. I don't know. Did he have a funeral? I have no idea. I don't know what happened with that. I yeah, I know this conspiracy theory that he just like escaped him out of there, like they just removed him, and he's somewhere. Like I've heard rumors that he's still alive. I was saying it's odd that I've never seen a body. No, they threw him maybe into the ocean with, with Osama bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what they did. You know, to, to, to respect his uh, funeral rights. Why yeah, of course. And he clearly, do... Barr knew. But why would Bill Barr be covering up the death of Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, Bill Barr. Didn't Gee, I wonder why. Huh? Why would someone cover up? The death of Epstein. Oh, a mystery. Brought either. Okay. He said mm -hmm. he did, and he pretended he did, but he didn't. Uh, uh, McSwain, the U.S. attorney. The murder. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. Uh, said Barr, Barr just wouldn't let him do it. It was crazy. Barr became so petrified, so frightened of being impeached. We're going to impeach him. I don't know if you remember it. Yeah. It's not a big moment in history. But they said, we're going to impeach. You know, they play a much rougher game than the left, the lunatics. And they were going to impeach Bill Barr, and he was petrified. Now, how do you not get impeached? Don't do any of this stuff. But he didn't do the job there. Uh, I don't know what he did with Epstein, but possibly he did. Do didn't you think do it's that. possible that Epstein was killed? Oh, or sure, it's possible. I, I mean, I don't really believe. I think he probably uh, committed suicide. He had a life with you know beautiful homes and beautiful everything, and he uh, all of a sudden he's incarcerated and not doing very well. I would say that he did, but there are those people. There are many people. I think you're one of them, right? But a lot of people think that he uh, he was killed. He knew a lot on a lot of people. He was killed. You I think. think so? Yes, I think Tucker. Yeah, Tucker. Awesome. Tucker. Tucker. Yay. I everything I hear. Uh, but yeah, the the closer you look into it, Tucker's also. If you pause it for a moment, he's cool. He's cool as fuck. But he's also kind of. Naive, like he believes in every UFO thing. I think he hears too, which is cute. A lot of people don't know that you have to really dig into that shit because it's a lot of it, bullshit. To it, yeah, because uh, he he really leaned into that. Uh, what's it called? The the fast. Uh, what's that? The little Tic Tac UFO that everyone. I know was the Tic Tac one. Yeah, I know about. About. But it, remember that UFO that was like seen by like a F eighteen super new radar. It, it turns out it was only going like thirty miles an hour, and it was just the way it was positioned. It was at like I want to say like five thousand feet. It was basically just a balloon. Yeah, but because it's cool he's that he wants unfamiliar. To yeah, it's cool that he like is talking about UFOs on mainstream. That's the important thing. But in that particular yeah. video, that I mean, Joe Rogan platformed those guys, and it was just all it was was a balloon floating thirty miles an hour in the wind stream over the ocean. But because the jet's so much higher, the ocean's a few thousand feet below. It, it appears like it's flying fast, and they're using well, brand new equipment that's not calibrated. Who knows if it's calibrated right? And I think the military understood and they knew all that already, but they had, they were forced to come up with some type of disclosure documents. They were, they were like mandated to talk about UFOs in a report. So that's the kind of yeah. shit they're pulling out of their asses. Like, okay, this is a, okay. That's kind of, yeah, this go with this and that. But I do recommend the channel truth seeker, truth seeker show. Go yeah. and maybe, Steven maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow morning we should cover some of that disclosure nonsense that's going on because I get that people want to believe, I believe in UFOs, but what's going on in, with that Congress, the, the, that congressional UFO, it's all shit. It's, it's all. It's horse crap. And it's like the average person who finds UFOs fun and interesting doesn't have the time to dig into all that stuff. That's why I do recommend the Truth Seeker show. And we'll try to do a show on that. And I've seen UFOs. They exist. All, I'm not just saying that because I've seen them, but I know real odd things do exist of all paranormal matter. Yeah. 
but you know I'm saying like I'm 90 10 in on Bigfoot. I've seen a UFO. Like I've seen one in broad daylight, very close by. Too. So I know they exist. I don't know about Bigfoot, but I'm 90 10 on that. But it, Man, it, weird I'm, I'm shit open does Bigfoot. exist. Yes, uh, Thunderbirds, ghosts. I've had experiences with with ghost boxes. I don't know if that's our mind making the ghost box talk, but those things work. We'll have to do some streams with some of those that we have. I have. Um, yeah. So that, there's paranormal stuff is real. UFOs are a thing, but 90 to 95 percent of what is thought to be a UFO is misidentified other things. Yeah. And also being purposefully misrepresented. Anything that's in mainstream media being presented as a UFO is almost 100 percent always bullshit. It, it- yeah, particularly with this disclosure shit. This has been going on since at the first congressional UFO hearing on the, the truth about UFOs and disclosure. It was in 1957. And it's about every 15 years, there's a new congressional UFO disclosure. And it's all nonsense because the people who are promoting that or come up to talk about it, it's all hearsay. They're saying, oh, I heard this from somebody else. Because you can't legally, you can't put yourself in a position legally of being like, oh, yeah, I know I've seen a crashed UFO and sh- not show any proof. That's how Stephen Greer um, rose, Dr. Stephen Greer, rose to the top yeah. of ufology. He's a complete bullshit artist. I met him in person. He's full of shit. And um, his, everyone gave him credibility in the beginning because he had a, like he got all that stuff talked about in a congressional hearing. But when you think about it, it's just talk. That's all they're doing. Talk, talk, talk. Nothing's actually yeah. being said or done that matters or shown that matters. It's all horse crap. Totally. Anyway, we could get into that and, on a totally different show. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll do, go a little bit more into the disclosure. Shani Flew says, I got a brother who looks to. for Bigfoot. I don't look for Bigfoot, but I'm a hiker. I do backpacking, so I do like... Hey, no, stuff. we look for it when we're hiking. I That's do. what I'm saying. So, like, when I first... We'll, we'll get into it some other time. I'll talk about it some other time. <laughs> we need to get <laughs> into Bigfoot and hiking on your channel. Uh, yeah, and that's coming up soon. As soon as we get out of the sweltering heat of North Carolina in the middle of August. Next few months. Next few months. lied about the Epstein death. Yeah, and he was, why? he was, uh, certainly it wasn't well done. They had no cameras. They had no anything. Everybody was sleeping and you know, there, the a case could be made. Look, I'm not going to get involved in it, but I can tell you a case could be made either way, but, uh, it certainly wasn't the most well-run place. So, so the reason I'm asking you is I'm looking at the trajectory since 2015, when you got into politics, yeah. you know, for real, and then one, uh, there, it started with protests against you, massive protests, right. organized protests by the left, and then it moved to impeachment twice, right. and now indictment. I mean, the next stage is is violence. Is, are you worried that they're going to try and kill you? Why wouldn't they try and kill you, honestly? Uh, wow. They're savage animals. Wow. <laughs> they... I was like, that's a very direct... I like Tucker. That's a very direct question. They, no one would ever ask that on mainstream. <laughs> Why wouldn't they try to kill you? Exactly. Not only that, they're not... If they can't kill him, they're just going to drag him through every court yeah. in every single state that they can drag him through. Totally. And if you want to look at it from the other side, like you have RFK running for the uh, RFK Jr. running for the uh, presidency on the Democrat side, who the Democrats don't like RFK because he's very open about the CIA killing his uncle and his father, uh, being at least being involved in the killing of his uncle. I kind of like that guy. He's kind of cool. Uh, me too. I like him. Mm-hmm. Um, but there used to very... be like normal, this is a long time ago, but a long time ago, like, there used to be like normal Democrats there that were just down to earth. They understood the needs of the people. Oh, they still and, exist. And they still exist. You might know They're them out there. personally. They're not in the media, but you might know them personally. Yeah. Yeah. Are people uh, that are sick? Great question from really Tucker. Sick? Oh, yeah. Great question. You have great people in the Democrat Party. You have great people that are Democrats. Most yeah. of the people in our country are fantastic, and I'm representing everybody. I'm not just Republicans or right. conservatives. I represent everybody. I'm the president of everybody. But I've seen what they do. I've seen the lengths that they go to when they make up the Russia, Russia, Russia. When that's exposed and they go down and Barr should have gone after them and other people should have gone after. And they did very late because the Durham report came out. It was fairly good. It could have been a lot tougher, I guess, but it was fairly good. But it explained how corrupt it was. Uh, And this is another thing. Uh, They've been establishing this Russia as the boogeyman since the the. uh... Who was that guy that was like now when they brought him in front of what was that Russia Gate stuff about the, the last year's election? Wait, Isn't it um, odd that the, the all these boogeymans that they lay out early that falls through, all of a sudden they're all coming back when they're in office only, like, oh, Russia's the bad guy. What was the other thing? There was the um I'm not sure who you're talking about, but talk my memory if you think of it. They brought that old decrepit investigator up on Congress for that Russia Gate stuff, and it was basically it was from that still dossier. 
that uh, Trump was colluding with chat, Russia. Somebody in chat might under, or know what you're talking about. Yeah, the chat stopped for me in StreamYard, so I'm coming over here to the actual thing to see what's being said here. And then the other thing was Ukraine. They kept, oh, oh Trump strong-armed that Ukraine president. And then it comes out, but Biden's got his hands in Ukraine. with His whole family's got his hands in Ukraine. And actually, Biden's on record strong-arming the, invest, the, the, the Ukrainian investigator investigating Burisma that his son was getting paid for, who never even did anything, never even attended any meetings for, with Burisma. It's Mueller, just odd. It's it, the same. Yes, Mueller. Yes, yes. That was, oh, he was the guy that was like, it. I don't recall... Uh, can you read that back to me again? That was his whole, it was ridiculous. Thank you, Giga, I mean, for that information, by the way. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, Robert Mueller, that was a great. And yeah, Ukraine is like, yeah. Very wild. cool. Uh, Bane Mailer says, hail, hail MK, catching up, but would love to hear more about your tour of duty sometime. Welcome home, brother. No. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was a 11 Bravo. I was an infantryman. <laughs> was good times. <laughs> good job. I, I like was stationed. Not military too far guns. from uh, Jalala. I was I, I was stationed in Jalalabad, but I was on a forward operating base not far from Jalalabad. It was cool. Took, Anytime there was a, a oh yeah, I took you to the Airborne Special Operations Museum in uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yeah, it was you actually there because they have a little hut with little Afghanis and like talking to military guys, and you were like walking around them. It was hot. I was like, oh, this is how you look. <laughs> it felt like home. I was like, oh, I remember this. Don't yeah, step on the rug, cool. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like all life size, all like they had like violent, like war scenes happening, people dying. And yeah. stuff. It was kind of cool. And the I guess I can say where I was at now. I mean, that place has fallen. So I was on Fob Gambary, and that's actually in the movie Zero Dark Thirty about getting Osama bin Laden, which is questionable. But uh, that's actually yeah. where they, they landed and linked up with other crews. So they landed in my Ford, Op not when I was there, but they landed in. Bob Gamberry. So those movies where it's like it's kind of interesting to watch movies from that area that I was stationed in. A lot get it wrong. Like uh what's that one with Mark Wahlberg, the lone survivor? I was like 40 clicks away from that whole area. There's no trees that grow on the side of mountains. That's the biggest mistake in that movie. But other than that, it looks looks very Afghanistan y. Good times. Good very times. Cool. I, had, I had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> bet. Did a great job to see. Inspector General Horowitz, he did a phenomenal report. You didn't have to go to do it. He did it on Comey and on, I guess, McCabe and some others. And it was a vicious, hard, it was basically a true report, how bad they are. But these people are sick people. These are people that uh, I think they hate our country. You want to know the truth? Mm -hmm. When you see open borders, when you see these policies that they have and so many other things, it's so sad to see. You know, we have a country that's Tucker getting deplatformed in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that happening. 16, which was 15. I mean, could you imagine the conniption fit that would happen if he was on Fox News and, and asked that question already, about whether? <laughs> oh, that would never happen. But the fact that he's on Twitter where he has more of a reach, 175 million views this video yeah. has. Insane. They are going to try to take down Tucker as well as Trump. Trust me. I see that. I see that coming. We'll see. Um, Bane Mailer says, I remember when Tucker was on Alex Jones before his Fox News stint. It was one of those discussions that you can pinpoint when someone begins to wake up. Alex showed him Building 7 and he was done. Yeah. I like Tucker. Wow. He's he's open to the conspiracy theories and to the truth of things. I really like that he's he's getting into this stuff. We should yeah, be he's... allowed to discuss conspiracy theories. Yeah. And you, people should be looking up at people who are adapting and changing the way they think and, you know, you you shouldn't be doing that. We should be constantly evolving the way we think and adapting to different information that we are given, opposed to just putting on blinders. And Trump understands that Fox is b bullshit at this point, so that's great. Yeah, I think he knew back then too, but I think he was like, "Well, there are enough on the RNC side that I should be nice." They're the to only them, ones you know. being somewhat friendly to him. Somewhat but... friendly, but they were. I mean, any type of mass media is controlled. Any type of mass media is controlled. They were all ordered to like stop covering him, period. They can't even like, I don't know if that's true or if they went through with it, but I remember there was some report out, some internal memo that they just going to stop talking about Trump at this point when Biden was already elected and stuff. So I don't know, but fuck Fox News. Fuck all the news agencies. That's fuck all. all of them. Every single one of them. It doesn't matter what they're pretending. It's all pretend. It's all an act. It's all scripted. Yep, 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 yep. The only, the only person who wins every election is the military industrial complex. But I ran in 16. That you used to work 16, for. And 
there was tremendous spirit. <laughs> uh, in 20, there was even more spirit. We had yes. many, millions of, we got millions and millions more votes. You know, it wasn't even a contest. People said, well, what do you think of 20? I said, we did much better. We did. You got to base it on the number of votes. We got many. Welcome past Master Dan. Hi, past Master Dan, my friend. But the election was rigged. It was a rigged election. I was watching a Comiscape Pro stream last night, and everybody, a lot of people from here was in there. I was like, Comic That's Artist cool. Pro Secrets? Yes. Yeah. Comicscape oh. Pro. <laughs> oh, Comicscape, whatever it is. I'm learning. Comic, it's the same. I'm thing. learning. Comic Artist Pro Secrets. Comic Artist Pro Secrets, whatever. Yeah. He was drawing something. And with COVID, they use COVID. Dang, I must have been fast asleep. And we have or are we watching it at work? It's like so easy. But we had judges Sorry. that didn't want to look. We had people didn't want to get involved. Do say they, they could you if he's a conspiracy theorist if you say anything about the election. But I have never seen spirit like there is right now. Even coming down here, Hi, Richie. Just, the people on the road that are just absolutely going crazy. And the reason oh, thanks. Is, yeah, I think Thank they like you, me. I, I know they love my policies. I hope they like me too. You know, a lot of people say they don't like me, but they like my I think they like me. But I have never seen spirit like it is right now. And the reason is because crooked Joe Biden is so bad. He's the worst president in the history of our country. I don't think he's going to make it to the gate, but you know, you never know. But he's a corrupt person, so corrupt that I took the name off Hillary. You know, I don't do two people at one time. I took the crooked Hillary and I made it. I retired the name. That was a good day for her. I, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. And what? And one of the things I was thinking about is that uh, I remember like when Trump was in office, he went over because uh, I work in, uh, in, in the coal mines. But I remember him going over the pond and striking up some deals. And I immediately saw the company that I'm, I was working for expand because of the policies that he did directly and grow. And it, they were going to open up four new coal mines. And uh, yeah. as soon as he uh, got out of office, that all that went out the window. So it's like, I, I remember living in that time where I saw improvements happening in my own life. And people yes. don't think it's a big deal. But when you have four extra factories that were about to spin up and start working, that's going to put each, each one but put it with a workforce of 40 50 people that's 40 50 families that are going to be having out of poverty incomes out of poverty yeah get, having an opportunity and that's what people miss like, it's people are, don't understand the importance of having opportunity and having that chance yes. where's we, whenever we drive around this small town here in north carolina you show me things that were in motion that have been halted now they're mid construction and they yeah. never they're not doing anything anymore. And you point them out and I'm like, yeah, it's just like all these constru construction zones that nobody's working on anymore. Yeah. Well, I, when we, it was a very small town, Vander, it's literally like a crossroad type of town. When Trump was in office, there's a, there's a new, there's like a fiber optics control fact controls, uh, factory went up. Uh, there was a, a, a private person, uh, started up their woodworking business there and built this brand new woodworking, very nice woodworking facility. Uh, there was a, I mean, I saw things improve, and then as soon as Biden, oh, the parks, it, the parks, it all, up, all the right? parks, yeah, parks blew up everywhere, and nothing has changed since Biden been on. Nothing has moved; it's all stood still. It's well, it's not actually closed. yeah, canceled. Correct. Yeah. Things, nothing's gotten better, and nobody gives a shit about that. It's like, they, do you not look around your actual? All I care about in my life is what I can see around me. And does no one care about that? Does no I couldn't that? afford rent any longer in Southern California because for some reason under Biden, that just went, Pshum! I can't pay $2,000 for a shitty one bedroom apartment. I'm yeah. sorry. I could buy, I could have a nice place here in North Carolina for that amount with land. But so I moved yeah. out here to North Carolina. No regrets at all. Loving it out here. Um, KSSS, by the way, happy birthday, my doget, dojet, Sheila Ooh. aliens, Sh Shigima, Shigima, which is our our way of saying hello in comics gate oh, in the Shigima. CGs in the slums. Shigima. I'll have to show you the lore behind that. There's a funny video that goes with it. And Bay Miller um, says real high paying jobs. Yeah. They were, I was getting consistent raises, not just once a year, but I was getting multiple raises a year because of yeah. how, but no, we need to send a lot more money into social services, like social. Uh, it's ridiculous. Man. Past master. Um, Bane Mailer, that pipeline shutdown was devastating. All the business on the pipeline got wrecked too. Absolutely, the Keystone Pipeline, and the, the stupid union leader was voted for Biden, thinking that that was not going to change anything. Dumbass. Yes, um, you can keep playing it if you want. Oh, we'll wrap it up in a little bit and let you guys watch the rest of it because look how far we got into it. Not very far. 
Yeah, yeah. We'll give you guys a little taste. You guys can go on and uh, add to that 175 million views. Here. Go to Tucker Joe, Carlson's Joe, X. But Joe is really. But you don't think he's going to make it to November of 20? Well, I, I think he's worse uh, mentally than he is physically. And physically, he's not exactly uh, a triathlete or <laughs> any kind of an athlete. You look at him, look at the not even mentally. Yeah. He lift his feet out of the grass. You know, it's only two inches at the White House, right? It's not a lot. <laughs> you watch him and it looks like yes trump's awesome stuff. looking at the camera when he says it yes and then you see him in the beach where he can't lift a chair you know those chairs are meant to be light right they're like <laughs> two ounces yeah. you lift him up he can't lift the chair he can't walk to the chair and I, I don't know what they're doing with the beach you know this beach is seeming to play a big role but they love pictures love of trump. him on the beach i think he looks terrible on the beach Looks terrible on the beach. Yeah, I now, agree. D- didn't Trump hear that Biden almost lost his Corvette and his cat in a fire? How can he be ripping on him like that? <laughs> yeah, the poor old man almost poor old lost man. his car and his cat. Yeah, and all those classified documents in the garage, too. He left car that out the... as a list of important oh, items. I know, was... right? Uh, car and cat, totally unscathed, by the way. But those documents did get incinerated as intended. So Yeah, they went straight from his garage to the incinerator. Yeah. Guinea legs. Well, he can't walk through the sand. You know, sand yeah. is not that easy to walk through. But when he walks through it, he can't walk through the sand. And there's somebody <laughs> in there that thinks he looks fabulous. He looks at the he camera every time. I love this. Plus, the beach doesn't represent what the president's supposed to be doing. He's supposed to be working. He's supposed to be getting us out of that horrible, horrible war that we're very much involved in with Russia and Ukraine. You could do that. You could do that very easily. I believe you could do that very I don't believe he could do it because he's just incompetent but he but, but also he's not doing it i mean biden is a complete puppet he's controlled by he's the military puppet, industrial yes. complex i mean it's insane allegedly um uh, it, it, so he's it's controlled one of those by things even where, higher ups i don't know if the military the military reaps the benefits of whoever is pulling the strings i think well that's why i say the industrial the military industrial complex so, so they're the strong contracts. arm of whoever yeah. is in control correct they only make money when they are at war and that's why I think when they realized that Trump didn't fall for that Iranian bait and the, the old bait to get him to bomb another country, I think that's when they knew, OK, we let this guy come in. Now we can't let this guy. We can't have he this guy come he, back. He talks with the leaders of these other countries and they leave with an understanding and something just it works out somehow. He has yeah. meetings with them. Yeah. He, when yeah, he yeah. was in office, he did anyway. Yeah. Yeah, a president's job should really be this day and age diplomacy. It, it shouldn't just be, well, well we got to go bomb these people. It, that never works out for anybody. I uh, think how Trump, they haven't figured this out. He issued stern, polite threats to them each time, I think. It, and so it worked out. <laughs> like, you want to try it, motherfucker? And basically, yeah. they're like, never mind. Even well, Putin after, was like, oh, what was that guy who he hit in Iraq? It was some Iranian general that like came rolling into Iraq. And he like hit him with a precise drone strike in a car outside the airport to show, like, yeah, we can do this. Like, Oh, yeah. And then media was like, oh, how could he do that? Was it that I believe they made it? Was a, it was it's sort of like that. Yeah. Yeah. The media was like, oh, wow. It, first off, we have all this cool technology in the military to do precise hits like that on particular that targets. Cool. And, uh, you know, we don't ever use them for that until Trump came into office. And finally, yeah, he hit a guy in a car coming out of an airport and it ended a conflict. He took out what? Well, took out whoever was driving. Do that instead of like but, bombing a whole corner with kids on. Yeah. It instead of going, oh, we're sending 100 Reaper Jones over and bomb 80 percent civilians. And. <laughs> Exactly. I agree. That's a war that should end immediately, not because of one side or the other, because hundreds of thousands of people are being killed. Can you imagine you're in an apartment house and rockets are going into that building and blowing it up and knocking it down? And who who can... Suleimani? Anything. Why should anybody, human beings, these are human, whether they're Russian or Ukrainian or whatever they are, it's got to be stopped, and it can't be stopped very easily. It would have never started. If I were president, it would have never started. So back to Biden, I'm interested. Agreed. Yeah, I believe him. It wouldn't have started. They provoked that war. And he's yeah. right. It's over 100,000 people dead. And the media is pro that. They want that. That should be terrifying to every living soul on planet. I agree. So you think he's failing. He obviously is failing. I think it's clear to everybody. But that would make Kamala Harris the candidate? Well, not really. I mean, I guess they'd have uh, maybe a free-for-all. A lot of people say she has to remain for certain reasons, the candidate. She has to. 
I don't think that's true, actually. I don't think that for VP stand for it. Well, that's the thing, too. America's gone down this weird rabbit hole, very similar like monarchies, where it's like those these rules now about how you it has to be a female it has well oh, it has to be the 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 last president's vice president has to run it has to be that way it, it doesn't, doesn't. Yeah. It, none of this has to happen it doesn't need to be two parties it could be three it could be four it could be five it could be six it could be seven it could be an independent person like trump used yes. to run as an independent <laughs> long time ago but instead there's this like diplomacy thing going on now where it's like this is what it has to be and it's like this is ridiculous absolutely uh, she has some bad moments. Her moments are almost as bad as his. I think his are worse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's uh, She seems pretty senile, too. She's don't come. Unintelligible. She's right. unintelligible. Don't she's unintelligible. She's got it's cum weird. on the brain. It's it's weird. But she has bad moments. And yeah. Ride? Do not come. <laughs> do not come. Do not come. Do not come. She's got cum <laughs> clouding up her fucking brain, dude. She's got Where cum is she? Yeah, I haven't seen her in years. What is she up to? I don't know. Anytime I hear her talk, she sounds like a ditzy, half-drunk college dits when she's hmm. like not making any fucking sense is what she sounds like well, what if just... she is exactly what she sounds like huh oh hmm so we'll go here and then the bus wow. will go there because that's what buses do and it's weird the whole thing is weird this is not a president of the united states future and uh i think they probably have some kind of a primary and other people will get involved I mean, Newsom, right? I could mean, that's... be, could be. I mean, you know, I always got along well with him, believe it or not. But could be him, could be somebody. I bet else. he did. He's Putin's kind of. Big, you get along big... with him, you know. I'm not gonna say he's cool, but he's. Well, I've seen so many instances where people were just bashing, like other politicians bashing Trump, bashing Trump. But but then when Trump shows up face to face with them, they're suddenly okay. Yeah. Suddenly, all that goes out the window, and they're just talking to each other. Trump's a gangster. He's a gangster. Yeah load on his shoulders because you look at california what's happened but i don't know if the american that american flag behind him is really distracting they should ban that american people what oh yeah it's terrible get that out of there here. you know you look at so many of the things that are going on and people don't seem to be in the old days if you had a bad record it meant a lot today if you have a oh, bad yeah. record it doesn't really mean anything i, you know, I think that's one of those fireplaces that you just turn on it's out. not the kind that takes wood is that am i wrong Oh, I, I I didn't see it. I'll keep an eye out for it next time around. It's okay. If that's the case, we'll let it slide. I could be wrong. What do I know? Spoiler alert. This winter, we're probably getting one of those. <laughs> yeah. But cool. Biden, every time you watch him talking, it's like he's walking on eggs. You're waiting for him to collapse. <laughs> and he yes. almost always does. <laughs> and I got to know the leaders of all of the countries. I got to do a super cut of just these funny moments, even though there's like the whole thing is hilarious. I think oh, I'll yeah, chop yeah, it up. Yeah. I'm gonna chop. I'm gonna download it and maybe chop it up a little bit for like maybe tomorrow's show or something. Cool. I gotta find. I made some funny memes over that sandbag trip he did. Like there was one. <laughs> where, like, zoom, like there was a random guy I zoomed into who was like perfectly cool with that sandbag taking him out. <laughs> Has he, he was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he's like right there on stage. It was fucking hilarious. Has there ever been any president that has tripped so much? In his, in his presidency? Oh, he knocked me. He used to make fun of Joel Ford for years for tripping all the time. <laughs> Biden oh, yeah. has taken that out to the new level. I mean, no one talks about Joel Ford's trips anymore. Yeah, and like most of the media doesn't even talk about the Biden trips, but the internet oh, knows. No, they get mad at other people laughing at an elitist falling. Like, you're supposed to laugh at elite it, people falling. It's like all over Twitter going viral. <laughs> <laughs> every time Can you believe these evil people make a fun of an old man falling it's like that's what the internet is for what do you think this is what do you think we yeah, show why up is this old today? feeble man our president get him out of there exactly and the bigger the tougher the leader you know it's like so yeah. tough. i guess maybe that's the way it's supposed to be but i got to know president xi of china and putin and kim jong-un north korea did a great job with north korea Kept oh, can you pause it real quick world. sorry no yeah, absolutely uh, producer okay. tuna is telling me we got to wrap it up soon Okay, well, we, let's wrap, like, we wrap it up now. I mean, everybody, go check this out on Twitter when you get a chance. Hey, producer Tuna, we're we're wrapping it up. We're wrapping Sorry, up. We Tuna, know, producer. We know okay, it's Nay Nay it time. We know, we know. Yeah, <laughs> Nay Nay is her little hair ties. She brings it. We flick the hair tie. She brings it back and she goes Nang Nang. Nay Nay. And we have to flick it again. It's just crazy. Okay, Tuna, Nay Nay time is coming. Nang, right. nang. Well, thanks everybody for coming out for another show. We have another show tomorrow, I'm sure, and then uh, we got to figure out what we're gonna do on the weekend. I'm thinking a later, like a nooner type show. Yeah, we... Whatever you want to do, darling, we'll do it. Um, Bane Mailer says, "Great show, thank you, thank you everyone for being thank here." You, on, 
on YouTube and pill.net in MK's chat as well as mine. Everybody, um, hello, George Egerog. Uh, he says boomers clinging to power, correct? Yes, but I like yes. Trump is probably my favorite boomer out there for sure. Yeah, and totally. He's a hip boomer. There is one. Um, thank you again, my uh, wonderful, what do you call them? Moderator, Matt G, for being here in my yes. YouTube chat. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Patrick T, Richie Cyber, Tranny Fluid. <laughs> everybody, good get it. Um, and our two super chatters, Vermont Cheddar and Patrick T. You guys are great today. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for coming out. I'm having fun doing these shows. And thanks for all the uh, support with the super chats today. That's definitely helpful. Uh, we're going to keep doing these. I'm enjoying this. This is a great way to start the morning. I agree. It's, it's going smoothly. We kind of got into a routine, something. It's just like everything clicked. So it's yeah. working good. Cool. What it is, and shout out to Sheila. You do a great job every morning because uh, producer tuna and producer tuna, most importantly, because everything. Well, I wake up in the morning and uh, it's all ready to go. She puts coffee in my hand, uh, she sits me down right here. You just have to I, show I, up, that's all you I gotta my, do. I do my jetpack hands and I go, yeah. Do, <laughs> yeah. I trip a few times. Uh, <laughs> I let him sleep until like 9 06, even. Yeah, it yeah, works, yeah, it's working out really good. Uh, great, very good stuff. Cool. Well, because you work at the coal mines, it's the least I can do to get this together. You know. Totally. So least... Can I tell before we go? Can I tell the uh, the pancake story from last night? Sheila yeah. doesn't know how to make pancakes. Okay. I do now. She okay. squishes them down. She squishes like when she's putting them in the pan. I squish them down. That I said. Well, I, I asked you like, why are you squishing them down? And she goes, because I thought you would complain they were too fluffy. <laughs> it was two o'clock in the morning. It's pancake. Cakes are supposed to be fluffy. Okay, but you remember what happened last time I tried to make pancakes? It was a disaster because I put it there too fluffy. They were too thick. No, she mixed it like it was concrete. It was like <laughs> lumps of the batter hitting it. So you ended up with like a, not even a muffin. It was, it was like, a, like a bagel consistency. So I overcompensated this time and it was paper thin. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. She's out there with like measuring cups and doing all this stuff. I'm like, you just put it under the water and you mix it up till it's the right consistency, and then you dump it. But how else do I cook? Do I cook other things well? Yeah, she cooks some. Oh man, pork chops. We have pork ribs. Uh, the jambalaya is amazing. Thank yeah. you. I can follow the instructions on a. It, box. It's all the dinner time stuff. I gotta get you on the on the uh, just the pancakes. Yeah, I pancakes do French and... toast. Good. Yeah, French toast are very good. Yeah. And I would and highly eggs. recommend if anyone's trying to watch their weight, get that keto bread from Nature's Own is pretty damn good. It's Especially really in French good. toast form. It's great for French toast. Yeah. Put some egg on it. I do French toast good and I do eggs good and bacon, which we is We should try stuff. the Iggy in the Basket we were talking about. I'll yeah, make you an day. Iggy in the Yeah, I'll make you a little Iggy in the Basket, babe, in time. But we got to go get eggs. That's what we're going to go do right now. Yeah, wow, 9.06 says Matt G. Yeah, he sleeps until 9.06. We go on at 10.30. It's great. But I also work in the coal mines till 1 a.m. And then I got the he shower, all the stuff off of me. So I don't get, I don't lay down till 3 a.m. 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's grueling coal mine schedule. He gets home covered in ashes. He's got to go take a shower. And then I wake up with him and we hang out for like an hour or yeah. whatever. Much we like Trump, I only sleep three to five hours a night, and I'm fine. I don't need any more than that. It's crazy. Yeah, he really, he'll wake up like, thing. Mm -hmm. I just Pretty take cool. a little methamphetamine during the day, and I'm good to go. Good to go. It's, a, it's great. It's all working out perfectly. All right. Um, hi, Jim Cox. Thank you for being here. And I guess we're wrapping up the show today. But thank you, everyone, for being here. We'll do it again tomorrow morning, 1030 a.m. Eastern. Cool. That's right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, we're gonna play. We're, we're gonna play them out, right? We're gonna. I am gonna play you guys audio. out. With so you guys something. say bye to each other in chat. Got a, got a minute. Yeah. Bye everybody. Oh, okay. I got a nice compliment before we go. MK, you have a great voice for. Thank you. Oh, thank you. that's thank fantastic. You he's got a he's got a face for podcasting too. If you ask me, very. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're... You, you said it was too J wordy. No, I said your oh. your nose is borderline J wordy. Yeah, J wordy. Yeah, very handsome. I must say though, and I can't wait till your reverse Cecil mask comes in. We're gonna we're gonna debut that. I'm here. not letting you know when I got it. You're just gonna Ooh. start this stream up one day, and I'm gonna stick it on. I'll Ooh, be nice. ready to go. Okay, nice. That's it. I'm gonna stick it on. And I'm gonna stick it in. Oh yes. I'm gonna very come good. over there and I'm gonna walk. Over. <laughs> like Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe, Joe Biden, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is getting exciting. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna play you guys out. See you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for coming out.